A local woman continues to defy, uh, defy odds after getting the devastating diagnosis of stage four triple negative and her two breast cancer. Jaron Spore spoke with her today. He joins us now. So, Jaron, very few people have received this diagnosis in Texas. That's right. She told me she is only one of two women to ever be diagnosed with this in the state of Texas, and she's the only one to beat it. Wichita Falls native Jeannie Klump was seemingly living a healthy life. Rode horses all the time. My husband and I were team ropers. Um, I sang with a Christian group called the White Horse Gospel Band. So uh, very active with our children and grandchildren, just doing everything we could. One morning in 2014, Jeannie noticed something wasn't right. I was going upstairs to get my daughter um, ready for school and just happened to notice something didn't feel right and when i came back down i did kind of a, a, a self-exam and i found a lump about the size of a walnut and told my husband i found a lump and he said go get it checked after going to get checked out she received what she thought was a death sentence when she called she said well we we got your results and it's triple negative and I said, oh, good, that's great. You know, you hear the word negative yeah. and you think, okay, okay. But everything wasn't okay. Jeannie was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer, which according to the CDC is a kind of breast cancer that does not have any receptors that are commonly found in breast cancer. This means doctors have fewer treatment options, but that's not the only thing they found. With this biopsy, they went in and found the second cancer, which is Herceptin 2, in the same tumor in the same breast. Her two breast cancer means the breast cancer tests positive for a protein called human epidermal growth factor receptor 2. This protein promotes the growth of cancer cells and only about one of every five breast cancers have the extra copies of gene that makes the HER2 protein. Having both cancers makes it that much harder to survive, but Jeannie didn't give up. I think my children are what kept me going you know, faith that um, I knew my husband was a strong man and he could do it on his own, but I didn't want to accept that. I wanted to be there with him. Then in 2017, Jeannie received the news of a lifetime. After you do the surgeries, you know, it's kind of a, you know, you hope they got it. And then when you find out after all these years of battling, it's gone. Um, it, it's just overwhelming. And now with October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Jeannie is telling her story in hopes of bringing awareness to one day finding a cure for this deadly disease. Being aware of your body and what it's going through, especially as a woman, um, you know, breast cancer can affect men too, but as a woman, you have to check regularly. And, you know, when they say you need a mammogram, don't be afraid of it. They've got new technology out there. Go do it. Now, Jenny also told me during her third surgery, the doctors called her family to let them know she wasn't going to make it. And of course, she defied those odds as well. And she and her family are grateful to spend each new day together doing the things they love. In fact, we did that interview on the side of the road while she was headed back from Six Flags with her family. Wow, that oh, is wonderful so awesome. that is. Yeah, and that she's being able to live this life for sure. Jaren, thank you so much for that so story. So glad she's telling mm -hmm. her story and she defied the odds. Now you can help in the fight against breast, breast cancer or by buying one or more of the uh, Wichita Falls Fire Department's Care Enough to Wear Pink T-shirts. This is the 13th year that firefighters have been selling the T-shirts for the Susan G. Coleman Foundation and they've raised about $150,000 so far. The shirts are $20 a piece and can be purchased at fire station number one right there on bluff or number eight off Southwest Parkway.